Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph data to answer the question, in what season is the abundance of animals highest in the limestone gorge? First of all, we need to go collect our data. Uh, it's in the Wildcam Lab. It's data from the trail cam photo. So go to the Wildcam Lab. You can just search Wildcam Lab or go to lab.wildcamgorongosa.org, enter as an explorer. Okay, once you're into the lab, you'll see, okay, there's the park. Uh, we can see all those those orange dots representing all the trail cam photos. Uh, if we pull up any one, we can see, okay, this is dead camera D73. It's got all the pictures. Um, we need to not look through all the pictures, but we need to actually uh, access the data from the pictures um, in order to build a graph. And so there are 40,302 images in the system, and uh, the data associated with each of those images. We actually don't need all of that. We can very specifically, our, our question is about the limestone gorge, and so we can filter out for just the limestone gorge. So click habitats, check the limestone gorge. Okay, and that helps somewhat. That only utilizes the cameras in the limestone gorge, and now we only have 8,000 results. So go ahead and download your results. Okay, once it downloads, one really important thing to do is don't open that file. If you open your downloaded file, it's going to open into a Chrome, uh, Microsoft uh, extension editor, um, a program that won't actually let us do what we need to do. So instead, open Google Sheets. You can always go to uh, sheets.google.com or get there any other way you want. Okay, once we're into Google Sheets, we'll be able to open that file that we just downloaded. Once you're in Google Sheets, you're going to want to open the Wildcam Gorn Gosa file. You can come over here to the File Picker, Open File Picker. It's going to give you some options that include opening a file from Google Drive. Um, actually, your file won't be in Google Drive, and so you'll want to go to the Upload tab because it's stored on your computer right now. Select the file from your device. Once you do that, you can find your downloads. On your Chromebook, this should be much easier to find. Uh, there should just be maybe only one file in there. But anyway, grab your file that says something like wildcam 31st May 2019.csv. Open that one up. And then it's going to upload. Okay, once you get your file open, you'll notice a few things about it. First of all, it's about 8,000 rows long, so it might take a little while to open, but if you take a look here, each one of these rows actually represents a specific image. It'll tell you which camera it was taken on, the latitude, longitude of the camera. It takes, tells you all sorts of variables. The ones you're interested in uh, are... Well, we've got different seasons on here. That's going to be important in answering our question. We also have how many animals were present in each picture. So, uh, for instance, if there were, this first one has baboons and there are five baboons, uh, that's going to be helpful when we're looking at during which season is the abundance greatest in the limestone gorge. To make a graph, you want to actually do something called uh, making a pivot table. And so that's going to be in here in the data tab. Uh, if you select data and then pivot table, okay, we want to create it on the on a new sheet. And so you can see down here, we've got a new sheet, a new tab, and here's the pivot table. It doesn't have anything in it yet, though. We need to add some rows and columns, and what we're interested in are rows that are uh, for each season. Okay, I'll let you can see there here. And then what do we want for the values in those ro rows? Well, we want the species count. We want how many animals are seen in the pictures. And so uh, that is in here. Let's find its species count. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is that it's summing up all the species count. So it's adding one picture saw five plus one picture saw three plus one another picture saw three. And so sum down here. That's good. That's what it came up as default. So, okay. Looking over at our, our table here, we can see, actually, it's kind of displaying. You could see what you need just from this table, during which season is the abundance of animals greatest. 
it looks like in the dry season. That actually supports our hypothesis. Let's take it one step further here and create a visual display. If we wanted to present this data to someone, that would be really nice to do. You know how to do this. That's insert chart. Okay, how do we do? Google's going to get something here for us. Okay, actually, this is pretty good. It's showing our different seasons. It looks like the dry season's showing up here as the most. Well, there's this grand total column, too. That's actually a little bit distracting. Um, and so we can get rid of it. Uh, you can do that. One way to do that is by adjusting your data range. I'm going to move this chart out of the way a little bit. And we can see that... Uh oh the data range is from A1 to B6. That means this cell, this cell is A1 to B6. It's taking data from all of that. So you'll notice it's it's taking the grand total. If we just get rid of row six, the chart's not going to use data from that. So let's change it A1 to B5. Ooh, look at that, so nice. All right, and that's got a chart we can work with. It now clearly shows dry season has the greatest abundance of species. And uh, I'm going to ask you to play around with the title a little bit and some of the title of the axes, but there you go. There's a start.